<coughs> Excuse me. Uh, hi everyone, this is Ross of Rogues After that webs com and I'm here to do a review of F Secure um F Secure Internet Security Technology uh, preview ten. Now this is weird because I just did a review of F Secure Internet Secure 2010. Well, basically, F Secure they emailed me and they request me to do a review of their beta product. Uh, yeah, but yeah, it's a beta, it's a beta, beta product. Um, and we can see how this review will end up. Now, usually, um, this review is gonna be really quick. I'm not gonna remove viruses. Edit. I'm just gonna throw viruses. See how how it reacts against uh, zero day threats. And I hope you enjoy my uh, rest of the video. Now. There is some good features about this website. I mean, website. What I'm talking about. I mean, this product is that it has online. Um, ah man, I've got to. I've got the gold. But it was released on October six thousand nine. But I'm not sure where it's still in beta. So this actually was. Um, I got a request from F F Secure to do this review, so hmm. so right now it's updating and installing, and I'll pause. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, it's finished uh, doing its thing. Your computer is protected, so that's great. That's good news. And check for updates. Okay, we're good. I guess we're good to go. Now, I'm going to pause, I'm going to, I'm going to get some uh, links, and we're going to throw against this product, and now this review is going to be really, really short. And remember, I'm reviewing Internet Security Technology Preview. Yeah, Preview. Technology Preview. So, now 2010, I just got a request from F-Secure to do this review. And I kind of like FC because they have really good products. So let me go grab some couple links. I'm going to get probably a lot because I have to see, um, see how we'll react against uh, zero day threats. I'll be right back. Now, while I'm grabbing the links, I want to talk to you about DeepGuard. DeepGuard is um, it's a basically their product against zero day threats. Um, Let's see, using advanced process mode. No, we're not going to do that because I want to leave everything in default. I mean, like, from the factory. Oh, yeah, plus it could be slower, so better not. I'll be right back. Okay, we're done. I mean, with the game, the links. I got 10. No, most of these are Trojans and fake AVs. No, actually, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, yeah. Trojan and fake A excuse me, fake AVs. Now this could be link number one. Now these are zero day threats. They probably came out like uh, approximately, I don't know, like an hour or two hours ago. Okay though. Okay, this one's get blocked, so number one get blocked by deep card, so this is good. And yep, it's blocked. Now let's close this. We don't need this. Uh, number two. Let's open my task manager. And basically, this product doesn't take a lot of resources. I'm only cracking up 13, uh, well, well, not a lot, but, did it go through? Hmm. Um, perhaps it probably did. Let's try it one more time. Okay, now we'll be going to try it out later on with uh, Hitman Pro. Number three. It's one of those fake um, 
called up for the image thing, whatever it's called. <laughs> okay, this one's kind of slow, so let's grab the number four. I haven't tested test these links out yet. Let's open and turn explore. The reason I use Internet Explorer because most of the time Firefox and Google Chrome will block these threats. This is link number four. Okay, something's definitely going on because my CPU is uh, at 100%. Okay, here my hard drive crunching away. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Something's definitely going on. Let's click run. Okay, looks like it's removing. Found virus removing. And we'll pause. Actually, we're going to time it. It's right now it's, uh, uh, let's say, 37 minutes. I'm going to click pause and I'm going to see how long it will take for it to remove. Uh, okay, basically, it removed a threat, which is good. And it wants to reboot, which is weird. Yeah, so, yeah. It, it's, it, it did a good job. We will reboot. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, I saved these. Okay, good. I'll be right back. Okay, let's just put this really, um, how do you call it? Delic, uh, really, not to throw anyone off. Uh, number three was really nasty, nasty, uh, pro, uh virus. Now, number four, we just have to see how this one reacts against this one right here ah oh, man this thing's hot hold on let me uh. okay again with this uh, removing virus thing well um, basically um, there's a virus on this computer. Can they remove it a little bit faster than like every time? And look, well, hundred percent. I mean, this is only in beta, but can they like at least fix it? Okay, right, I just saying that the virus is got blocked or it patched. But, uh, well, this one's kind of removing f fast, but, um, okay, good, it crashed my, it took, it closed my Internet Explorer, so this is really good. And why does it want to remove, reboot ever after every virus it finds? I kind of don't like it. We're going to clear the history. Anyways, uh, why does it want to reboot after every virus it finds? Okay, so uh, we're going to ignore it not until we go through all of the f through all these links. I mean, F Secure, I love the product, but rebooting after every virus it removes? Mmm. I don't like that. Okay, the, uh, number. What number was it? Number. Number. Number five is cut. Okay, so it's good. It's blocked and it got removed by asking for reboot. I don't like that, guys. You better fix it. Maybe your product is good at blocking, but f f uh, rebooting after every whatever doesn't work with me. I mean, your product is really low resources. It's good because I don't put a lot of resources in this, in this virtual machine. Let's make it small. <laughs> 